Alright, so here's the deal. I have this nifty little mess kit that I put together and made, which is another story. But anyway, in the mess kit, I have a homemade alcohol soap. And I kind of just threw this thing together uh, at the last minute. It's just an old beer can, and I end up cutting it, making slits. If you want to look up alcohol soaps, there's more about that on other websites and videos. But basically, it's a cheap little can cut. And I think I made it one day when I was just sitting outside. Uh, problem is, I use it a lot, and it's kind of getting old and worn and tattered. I want to make a better one today, so we'll see if we can do that. <laughs> stove is you fill this full of alcohol like a I don't know like a big cup and if you were to knock this over it turns into an instant Molotov cocktail not good especially if you're out in the woods you get leaves or tents or whatever I want to fix that all right things I'm gonna need to make the stove monster can the kind with the screw cap a marker a pair of scissors a drill and this is just regular home fiberglass insulation. I swear to God, I didn't steal this from anybody's wall. And some tin snips to do some cutting. This is a storm grate gutter guard. It's a gutter guard for your gutters inside of your house. I think this cost me $2. This is the most I spent other than the monster, but I drank the monster, so it was a nice little treat. Okay, the next thing you want to do is mark about two inches from the bottom to here. Mark it with your Sharpie. Same thing goes with the top, but you make your top a little tiny bit shorter than your bottom. Mark it around. Can't see it in the camera, but I did it. Okay, now that your can is cut, which I spared you the expense of me cutting it because I think everybody knows how to use a pair of scissors, or you should, because if you don't know, you should probably not do this project. So anyway, I cut the can. As you can see, this side's a little bigger than this side because this is going to go over the top of this. Press it in. Or vice versa, whatever you want. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you flare the side that's going on the outside of the other side, like a pocket. You want to flare. So I usually just take a pen or a pencil or marker, in this case, and just push around on the other side. And you just want to work it slowly all the way around as you're belling out the aluminum. So just like that. Go all the way around and keep doing it. Don't be shy. What you don't want is you want you don't want pockets or channels. So when you press this over this, you don't want this to fold in and make a crease because if you do that you'll have suction and air will get in there and that's you don't want that. Okay, now that you've flared your cans, so one will fit over the other, you want to take that grate material for your gutters, and you want to cut it into a circle, like this. And you want it to fit inside of here, inside your top can. Now you don't want it on, your, on the smallest ridge that's in here, so you don't want it to be on this lip, your drinking lip. You want it to be on the lip above that, where it kind of bells in. When you cut the can, you'll see what I'm talking about. When it kind of bells up, not where it ridges out to the inside of the can, very top, last ridge, but the ridge after that where it kind of bells. And again, you'll see what I'm talking about once you open it up. Now what you want to do is go around and mark the top of this can where you drink out of with eight holes. Use your Sharpie to do that. And then drill them. So you have eight little holes on the top of your can. Now what you want to do is you want to take your screen, Put it in the top part of your can, fill the bottom part of your can full of insulation. You kind of want it to overflow just like that. So when you press this can over the top of this one, the insulation will press that little screen up so it won't shake and rattle around. Okay, so once you have the insulation in your can, you press it together, and there's your monster stove. Probably the hardest part of the whole project is trying to get this can to fit over the bottom can. It's You kind of got to finagle it and get it just right. But once it's in there just right, your screen doesn't rattle. So you want to make sure you put enough insulation in the can so your screen won't rattle. Not to mention, you add the liquid into the top, and sometimes the stuff can kind of squash down. So you want to take this, and you want to fill it. I like to use heat, H-E-E-T, 
For car stuff, it's like a water remover for your gas tank. Fill it up, light it, bring it outside, and let it burn because the stuff we use, the gutter stuff, is galvanized and it puts off toxic fumes. But once that stuff burns off, you'll be fine. So, like I said, fill it up, bring it outside, let it burn off, get rid of any toxic fumes, any paint, or what have you, and you'll be good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this today. Uh, subscribe, like, share, tell your friends, because if you subscribe, you'll keep my videos going. Thanks a lot. Guys, have a good day.